Hey beautiful friend, thank you for joining me. It's Shandy and I have a fun tutorial up my sleeve for you today, pun intended. I've got two things I'm gonna show you today. How to construct this gorgeous enchanted knit cardigan and I'll be demonstrating just how easy it is to work some of the stitches. This pattern is magical and I'll tell you why. This is the Enchanted Cardigan and it was designed for you by Christina Smiley. And it is so magical because it's basically a rectangle that you then seam up in a really clever way, like magic, and it forms a cardigan. Super easy, but it makes a really wearable piece for your wardrobe. We also have a crochet version and I will link below to that for you. Lock the doors, we're on full quarantine. This is the type of pattern that you're gonna wanna wear daily because it's so comfy, it's so cozy, it just goes with everything. You're just gonna marvel at how amazing it is that a simple rectangle can make such a cute piece. This is a perfect cardigan pattern even if you're a fairly new knitter because it just contains basic stitches and it's just a rectangle so it's essentially one size fits all so you don't have to worry about sizing. If you do want to adjust the length or the width totally feel free. For this pattern we used our fun sparkle DK weight yarn in a gorgeous four color gradient. It's soft and cozy and has a really great balance between structure versus drape. The silver sparkles get out of town. They are so fun and magical. They're so enchanting. If you would like to download the written version of this pattern or the crochet pattern, you can head to expressionfiberarts.com and I will put the direct links in the description box below for you. First, I would like to show you just how easy it is to work this lacy part here in the body of the pattern. So the edge of the cardigan consists of this simple two by two ribbing and if you are under familiar with ribbing. I have a video demystifying that. I will link below to that for you. And then the body is this beautiful little lacy look. I'm going to show you how to work a couple rows of this. I'm going to start with row 23 of the pattern. You're going to have some knit stitches at the beginning of your row and then here's what you're going to do. We're going to do a knit stitch and then the part that you repeat across is knit three, two, three, then you're going to work a yarn over then you're going to do what's called an SK2PO. So to do that, you're going to slip the next stitch knitwise. So you just pass it from your left needle onto your right needle. Then you're going to knit the next two stitches together. And then that stitch that you slipped, you're going to grab it with your left needle and pass it over that stitch like so. Then you're going to work another yarn over. So you repeat that across. So let's do it again. Knit three, two, three, and then yarn over, and then the SK2PO. So slip, knit wise, knit two together, and then pass that slipped stitch over then a yarn over. Then you'll continue along your row. Now when you come back to work the repeating part of row 24, here's what you're going to do. So the part you're going to repeat across when you're on row 24 is knit one, purl one, knit one, and then purl three, two, three. So we'll do that again. Knit one, purl one, knit one, and then purl three, two, three. And then you continue working the rest of your row. So you can see just how easy that lacy part is. It's very simple. And now I'd like to explain how you're gonna seam this bad boy up. First, I do recommend that you block your rectangle before you seam it up. You're gonna fold your cardigan in half like so, and then using the mattress stitch, seam up this area from here to here, about 12 inches, leaving the armholes open. If you are unfamiliar with mattress stitch, I will put a link to our video for that in the description below for you. Then if you prefer, you can tack the beginning and the end of your seam together to keep the edges folded back. Quick little side note for you. If you are going to be tacking the beginning and end of your seam together, you will want to put the seam ridge 
on the outside of your cardigan so that when you tack the edges together, it's hidden. If you're not gonna be tacking your edges together, you'll wanna make sure your seam ridge is on the inside of your cardigan. Okay, to tack your two parts together, you're gonna thread some yarn that's the same color as your sweater onto a darning needle. I'm just using a different color today, just so you can see it a little more easily. And you're just gonna grab these two parts, the bottom of your seam and the top of your seam, and you're just gonna stitch them together Leave a little excess tail so you can weave that in. And I just like to go around and around with a little whip stitch, like this, two or three or four times. And you wanna cinch it up really tight. And then when you've done that, you'll just weave your ends into the wrong side of your cardigan. And there you have it, a magical enchanted cardigan that you made yourself. We hope you love it. Have an absolute blast making your own version and remember to enjoy this day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Am I ready? Magical, like magic. Magical, magical, like magic. Magical, magical. Magic, magic. Then you'll put glitter coming out. <laughs> it's super uncomfortable. Pun intended. Pun intended. And now I'd like to demonstrate. And now I'd like to. So you can. Okay. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! What's the procedure? Stay f calm! What? They're so enchanting. They're so enchanting. So enchanting. What? <laughs> <laughs> It's super uncomfortable. Bye-bye.